Welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on the topic electrochemistry and the subtopic for today is uh, standard electrode potentials used uh, in determining oxidizing and reducing agents. So we are going to be using the standard electrode potentials we just learned in the previous video. You can go back and check it out. Now we are going to determine what are the oxidizing agents and reducing agents in a reaction. So we are solving one of the part of the questions that come as a one question. This you notice is one of the questions that is asked there. So we said the reduction potentials are usually used uh, is a standard electrode potential measured when the electrode in question is gaining electrons. So we talked about the reducing agents and oxidizing agents, and we said that the reducing agents are the ones that have a higher tendency of losing electrons, and they usually have negative electrode potentials, while the oxidizing agents are the ones that have a higher tendency of gaining, and they usually have positive electrode potential. We only also discussed the start uh, the electrochemical series that has both metals and nonmetals of course excluding the anions which you discuss in electrolysis but we said fluorine has the highest tendency of gaining while potassium has the highest tendency of losing so you notice it since it has the highest tendency of gaining it forms very strong oxidizing agent while the metals potassium being one of the strongest metal that uh, loses electrons forms the strongest reducing agent. So you can see it goes in the opposite manner. Oxidation, oxidizing agent, the strength reduces as you go down the group, while the reducing energy uh, uh, tendency uh, decreases as you go up the group. So it goes, and it's important to notice the electrode potential values. The negative it is, the more tendency to lose. The more positive it is, the more tendency to gain. So let's look at sample questions of sample um, uh, uh, questions that ask about oxidation and reduction so that you can be able to see how we can be able to answer these questions. So you are provided with the following electrode potentials of four half cell reactions. Let us do not represent the actual symbols of the element. So we have A, B, C, D. Identify the strongest reducing agent. So first of all, we'll go back to what we discussed. So reducing agent, we say these ones are the ones that have a higher tendency of losing electrons. So they have negative electrode potentials. Strong reducing agent, stronger uh, bigger negative values. So if you look at the values we have here, A has negative 1.1, negative 0.14, B has positive 0.77, C has negative 0.20, and D has positive 1.07. So if you look at the one that has the highest negative value, the one that has the highest negative value is 0. negative 0.14. And it is important you notice when we talk about the highest negative value, we are not using the, the number line where we say negative one, negative two, negative one is bigger than negative, not that case. We are saying that is more negative. So as you go across the across the the number line, you'll notice it becomes more and more negative. That's basically what we are meaning. Which one is more negative? So negative 0 0.14 is more negative comparison no negative 0 0.2 0 is more negative than 0 0.14 so the one that has a highest tendency of losing electron is actually c so c is the strongest reducing agent because it has the largest negative electrode potential.
So if you were to look for the strongest oxidizing agent, you are supposed to look at the one that is the most positive. And the one that is the highest positive or the most positive is D. So we would say D is the strongest. And it's the gas strongest um, oxidizing agent because it has the largest positive electrode potential. All right, next question. Standard electrode potentials of certain, certain half cell reaction are shown. Identify the strongest oxidizing agent. So you do both strongest oxidizing and strongest reducing agent. So strongest oxidizing agent needs to have the largest positive value. Then strongest reducing agent needs to have the largest negative value. So if you compare the one that has the largest positive value, the largest positive value is positive 0 0.80. So it means Y is the strongest uh, oxidizing agent. While the one that reducing agent, the one that has the, the largest negative value, which is negative 0 0.76. So W is the strongest reducing agent. If you were told to give a reason, you'd say why is the strongest oxidizing agent because they have a large positive electrode potential, while W is a strong reducing agent because it has a large negative electrode potential. You can go further and talk about it has a higher tendency of losing or having a higher tendency of gaining. Then we look at this question, use the information below on standard electrode potential to answer the questions that follow. So you can see the electrode potentials, identify the strongest reducing agent and strongest oxidizing agent and give reasons. So we will start with the strongest reducing agent. Strongest reducing agents are the values that have the largest negative value. Strongest oxidizing agents are the values that the ones that have the biggest positive value. So let's start with reducing agent. So C is positive 3, 4, D is positive 4, 4, 0 0.44, E is negative 2.92, F is negative 2.71. G is negative 0 0.14 and H is positive 2.87, K is positive 1.09 and L is 0 0.00. So ne the largest negative value, so the negative values we have is this and this and this, yes, those three. So between these three, the largest is going to be E. So we we'll say it's E because it has the largest negative electrode potential. So it has a higher tendency of losing electrons. Then strongest oxidizing agent, the positive ones we have is this, this, and this, and this. And if we compare the one that has the largest positive value, it's going to be H. And you're going to say why is because it has a large uh, positive electrode. So it has a higher tendency of gaining electrons. So you can go ahead and, and say that. So large negative standard electrode potential. This is large positive standard electrode potential so this has a higher tendency to lose this is has a higher tendency to gain All right so the last question the following are the standard electrode potentials of some electrodes. So which is the strongest reducing agent? So we both do reducing agent. 
and oxidizing agent because ether can come in the exam. So reducing agent, the one that has highest negative value, oxidizing agents, the ones that have highest positive value. So reducing agent negative values are this, this. So the one that has the highest is A. Oxidizing agent highest positive value. Positive values are this and this and this. So E has the highest. So why it has the highest negative value or highest tendency? To lose electrons, this is, has a high tendency to gain electrons. So I hope you have been able to see how you answer this first part of the question. We're going to build on the questions that come in this uh, setting, set of questions. So see in the next lesson as we look at how uh, standard electrode potential is further used.